Welcome back savages to another video. In this video we're going to be unboxing the 3 Nord Titan 2.1 Miner. So this is supposed to be a plug and play ready to go out of the box miner that mines the threefold TFT token. Let's go ahead and see what's inside the box. First of all before we open the box I just want to show you it's a nice looking box got a good design as well so a bit of attention put into the uh, display and actually arrives like this as well. So let's have a look inside. So the first thing you're going to see when you open the box is a threefold farmer's sticker, which is a nice little touch. I like that. Put that on one side. It's got plenty of packaging, which is nice to see. So we've got the power brick itself, which is good. And then we've got the three pin adapter with uh, the plug, which is nice. If there's anything else in there. Got some stickers. They look like something that will probably go on the bottom of the miner or something. Yeah, rubber legs, bad looks of it, and some screws. We'll have a look at that shortly. So when you purchase one of these, you get the option of adding a fan. Um, and I decided to go for that so you get a nice little case fan in there just to keep it nice and cool so the fit of that in it's a nice looking unit almost reminds me of a power supply for a computer the size of it which is slightly disappointing I'd say based on the actual cost of this unit but anyway let's have a look and see what's on the front so looks like you've got an on off button there just there on the right hand side Headphone socket on the left hand side, USB, and that looks like a new USB-C style connector, and that looks like a microphone as well. So it's got plenty of cutouts to keep it cool on the top and on the side as well. That's the bottom, and yeah, you can see the cutouts there, and that's where these legs will go. So you can put, put it on a solid surface without it kind of vibrating and moving around, so that's what that's for. And then let's just have a look on the back. Yeah, so the power adapter will go in this bit here. VGA connector. Uh, it's got a USB-C, another one there. HDMI connector. Display port just there. And it looks like you've got four USB ports. The last USB port here has got a USB memory stick in it. And that'll be probably where the operating system is booting from on there. And lastly, you've got an Ethernet port just up here as well. So there you go, quite compact. Uh, if you want to know in terms of size what that looks like. In comparison, I've got a Nintendo Switch just here. So much smaller than that, just to give you an idea of dimensions. Now, one thing that seems to be missing from this box is some kind of instructions. I guess you can probably go on their website and try and find out how to connect this up. But it is supposed to be plug and play, so I guess they haven't included any instructions just for that reason. So we've got everything connected up here. This is still on standby, it's not switched on yet. Just got it hooked up to the power monitor. Just to give you an idea of how much it uses, just using this adapter alone on standby, 0 0.9 watts, and we're talking 0 0.020, 21 amps. So nothing all when it's on standby. Let's go ahead and switch it on. Now, obviously this is mining at the moment, it's not connected up. So it's just to give you an idea just how much power usage it uses when it's switched on. It might use obviously more when it's actually mining, but let's just get an idea of how much it uses. So it's using around about 20 watts of power, which is not bad at all. I mean, it's a mini unit, it's, it's, it's a miner, but for 20 watts, you can't complain really. In terms of amps, 0 0.17 amps, which is, nothing really so quite impressive extremely quiet can't really feel that fan at all so there you go quick unboxing video of the three node titan 2.1 
Hope you like this video. Please subscribe, like, and I'll see you savages on the next one.